welcome to Brenda's Crafting. On today's video, we're going to do some glass. And we're just going to use some super glue. It says super glue fix all from the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to use that to glue them together. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab one of these bad boys, very heavy. And we're going to turn it upside down. And we're going to grab one of these. And I took off the sticker. Has a little bit left on it. Um, I'm going to um, put it on the spray mine. So you can leave it clear if you want that clear look. And what I suggest you do, make sure you don't touch your fingers with it because it is very um, slippery and slimy. Okay, I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Take out the sticker. And those. Um, I do want to put a warning in there. It does say on this one, it says, Warning, do not leave candles unattended. Tended. So yes, please do not leave your candles unattended. Please blow them out. Do not leave the room when the candle is on. That's just my advice. And I've seen house fires really on, on YouTube and they go fast and it's scary because my house is made of a lot of wood inside so that scares me. Uh, so definitely don't, if you do light a candle, please do not leave it unattended. If you like, you can wear gloves while doing this. If you feel like unsecure about how to do this, then my suggestion is just wear some gloves. And it will make you feel safer and not feel like your fingers stick together. So, uh, and you could just spray the bottom. And you could, uh, just ideas on what to out there. You could spray this like black or brown or bronze or uh, white if you want to do it all white. Um, it's just depending on what you want to do. Just on a little bit. Um, also, you can use that lever 6000, but it has to dry overnight. Awesome. Now, like I said, you can do the same thing with these. You can decorate these separate and spray it first and then do the glass. And then you could do two different colors. But on this one, we're going to do it like this. So I need to take off some more of the glue on the bottom. Like, I'm going to go to use this one. Um, but so cute I mean yes you can turn it upside down like that and go like that too because that's more of a flat surface um, but I don't know why I like the look of this better so I'm going to try this look first and we'll see how it works and hopefully it will work I might try a little super glue with this one just to see if this holds it faster or better because as much as I love to do the other way Sometimes it doesn't work out like the way you want it to. So let's go try plan B. This is plan B. We'll go right here. And boom, we're gonna go for it. I'm just turning it just to make sure it's not hanging super over one edge or not. You know what I mean? Just it's like it's, it's pretty much centered as much as I can get it. For fun, and you can really have fun on the holidays with this one. Because this one you can, um, you know, decorate the day table with it. You can make it like a centerpiece. You could uh, make it a side table. You could put like you know, snowman on it, fall, you can put some fall leaves around it, uh, put pumpkins on the bottom of it. It's just, you can get so creative and I just love that. All right, I'm gonna let these dry and I'll come back and we'll spray. Okay, I'm gonna go to voiceover because the lawnmower was going and it's just, uh, I just wanted to show you just a little bit of how I sprayed and made it look way pretty um it was a metallic spray and now i'm just gonna decorate it this is optional this is not necessary but this um i decided to use um, a ribbon with the bead look and i just painted them 
with the just colors I had on on hand um, I kind of blended a metallic and a, a little bit of gold together and that's really all I did and I just painted it about I think I painted it twice on the beads um, I it just first I was gonna use like several of the beads and then I decided just to use one strand of each just to decorate with so that's just me blending them I'd use a little gold I used a little metallic and I didn't really exactly have that exact same color in my paint decor but I didn't feel like spraying outside again I just want to thank all my subscribers that are subscribed to my channel and I would I like to ask you if you're new to this channel Please smash that like button. I really would appreciate it. This really helps my channel grow. And I'm really trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can do another giveaway. So if you can, I would really appreciate if you support my channel. Thank you. Okay, here is where I decided to go down to one strip. So here's that decorating. I love the metallic look that I gave um, on the spray. It looks so fall-like. It's gonna look so cute with fall decor. I'm excited to see the results. And I hope you like it as well. Okay, this turned out so super cute. I'm just adding the details with the little beads, the pearl beads. And like I did go back over it with another second coat of paint just to make sure it blended in more but it did turn out really cute and it looks really great on display so originally my plan was to put the floating candles inside from the Dollar Tree and then I realized that the glass was too small I mean it fits right on the top but it does not go inside the glass so the glass is too small and I actually tried it on both of them and both of them were too small so those those floating candles are way larger than I thought they were. So that was my plan when I first started making this. And it didn't turn out. But I did decide it. I'm, I could also put the little tea candles in there. You can also put like the other kind of candles in there. so Or smaller candles in there. So I just decided to put some glass in there instead. And then if I want to, I can add um, one of the little candles in there. I'm enjoying the summer, but I'm already getting excited for fall. So here's a little bit of peak of some fall decor. And I have many more projects coming up. So stay tuned. Have a good day. God bless. I love you all. See you next time.